this is a half of a copper ball and that in itself is a little bit interesting but it's uh, how it was made it wasn't stamped like we would make it today in fact today this would be made out of plastic but uh, unless you work for NASA or some other place you probably haven't seen this I've never actually seen the machine that does it I'll try to find a link uh, and put it down in the description but this was made by a very interesting process let's take a close-up look at it you see these lines across here this was made by they call it spin forming is one name and anymore the only place you see this is like nose cones of rockets and things like that you won't see it in a consumer product in fact I was looking around my house trying to figure out if there's another product that would use spin for me and uh, no I didn't find it let me give you a brief idea how it's done again I'll put a link down in the in the uh, description if I can find a machine that does it these lines running this way are a giveaway on how this was made it was put into a machine that looks a lot like a lathe it was just a copper plate and then there was a form that was in this shape that was usually a steel form and they have a tool and what happens is they just put it against the copper plate and push and press it up against the steel form and it's usually copper or aluminum something like that that's pretty malleable and that's it it uh, just forces the copper plate stretches it in the process and it leaves these telltale marks on it when it does it okay well that was it for today hope you found it interesting